T-minus 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Verifying the main engines are in the start position, T minus three minutes and counting. Starting the LO2 ET tank pressurization. LO2 pressurization. And preparing to retract the gaseous oxygen vent arm, or the GOX beanie cap. DLT OTC clear, caution and warning, memory, verify no unexpected errors. as part of that operation. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system is armed. Solid rocket booster joint heater is being deactivated, going into a final check of solid rocket booster commanding. Joint heater's off. Oxfil and drain valves are closed. Flight data recorders for the SRBs activated. Payload bay vent doors closed. Three minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred to Space Shuttle Endeavor's onboard computers. Jane armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Houston Endeavour, well program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The space shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavour rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines will soon throttle back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket to reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. view from long-range trackers, now from a camera on the external fuel tank showing the bird's eye view of Endeavour heading towards space. 54 seconds into the flight, Endeavour already eight miles downrange, standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom Chris Ferguson. Endeavour, go with throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Scott Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio and Tracy Caldwell, Dave Williams, Al Drew and Barbara Morgan seated down on the mid deck, Morgan racing towards space on the wings of a legacy. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Endeavour 
currently traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour, 14 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units, three good main engines. Endeavour flying straight as an arrow, one minute, 55 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation, guidance now converging. We're coming up on the point of negative return where the shuttle will be too far downrange, too high an altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Endeavour currently 135 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, flying true. Endeavour, negative return. Negative return. Endeavor, press to ATO. Press to ATO. Endeavor, single engine OPS 3. Single engine OPS 3. The guidance officer here in Mission Control confirming that Endeavour's computers are commanding the main engines to swivel again, enabling the shuttle to roll to a heads-up position above its fuel tank. This will enable Endeavour to gain better communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system heading uphill. Endeavour, press to Miko. Seven minutes into the flight, about 90 seconds of powered flight remaining for Endeavour and its crew. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Okay, single engine press 104, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavour currently traveling at uh, 15,000 miles an hour. 20 seconds of powered flight remaining, standing by for main engine cutoff, which will be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank.
Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Standing by for external tank separation. External tank separation confirmed. Endeavor now in its preliminary orbit for Barbara Morgan and her crewmates. Class is in session. Commander Scott Kelly now maneuvering Endeavor to the correct orientation so that video and digital stills of the fuel tank can be captured by cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well. Copy. Nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required. And you should, you should get a uh, good view of the ET photo DTO from the flight deck perspective. Thanks for watching. This is the first time that we've uh, been able to see in-cabin in uh, video after external tank separation to show how quickly the crew moves to uh, perform the uh, task of documenting the external tank as it falls away from the orbiter. Dave Williams uh, coming up from the mid-deck uh, fairly quickly. He's uh, in charge of uh, using a uh, camera with a long-range lens to uh, document the tank out the overhead uh, windows. And Tracy Caldwell, uh, within seconds, uh, had her helmet off and in its protective uh, protective case. She, too, uh, assisting uh, with the documentation of the external tank uh, with a uh, small video camera. Rick Mastracchio handing her that uh, camera as he uh, follows along with uh, ascent checklist uh, tasks with the commander and pilot. The uh, video and still photography of the external tank complements the digital umbilical well camera uh, images that uh, also were taken automatically, that digital camera in the uh, umbilical well of the uh, orbiter.